Hello everybody and happy Monday. You know what's making me make this video? Well, I just updated, uploaded a film that I wanted to put on YouTube of a full week of me cooking and literally half of the video went corrupt. I don't even know how that happens. I honestly don't. So I am just so frustrated right now, if you can't tell. It's been quite the Monday, to be honest with you. Work was super stressful and I went to the gy a gynecologist appointment and they told me I had high blood pressure. I have never heard of that in my life. I like to consider myself being super fit, not maybe not super fit, but pretty fit. I lost about 28 pounds. So I was like really confused about how I could have high blood pressure. So it kind of threw my whole day off. And anyways, but she told me I needed to go get vitamin B6 because my PMS is really bad. And so I did that and I took my first vitamin today. Um, but yeah, my Monday is just... It's not the greatest, but I know a bad day is still a luxury and it's beautiful outside, so I might go for a walk. But yeah, that's my Monday. So, it is what it is. What's up everybody? Happy Tuesday. I just thought I would come on here and show you guys my new plants that I got. I totally didn't vlog or show anybody my new plants and my kind of setup that I did. I really think it's cute and it goes well with my room. So basically it's my three little plants and this aloe is already starting to, I don't know what's going on here, but my this girl that I know told me I need to get new pots for them. So I am aware. Um, and I just need to make sure that I am watering the aloe once a week and these guys every couple days. And then that's just um, some white towels and then some gray towels. I did like a hers and his thing because when crew comes over, it's kind of nice for him to just have his own towels. But yeah, I think it looks like super cute with like my big mirror. So I thought I would talk to you guys a bit while I get ready today. Um, I'm, it's literally just like a work day. So I'm just going to be doing my makeup like casually nothing too crazy although <laughs> I don't know why but I always just love doing my concealer and foundation still super full I don't know I think it's because in high school I had like bad acne so it's like scarred within me to just always do a full face of makeup but anyways how are you guys doing it is it's been really really nice weather in like Toronto and I know in enjoying the weather soaking it up as much as I can and um, trying to do things outside while we can um, I got my lips done you can still see the bruising here um, I will link her uh, Instagram below I actually won it part of a giveaway and her name is Jenny and she's honestly amazing. I got half a syringe and it made like such a big difference. So I highly recommend if you guys are into that. Come January, like I'm going to do a really big like revamp, not revamp, but be really strict again. Um, it's just, it's just, I don't like, I like where I am right now and I'm not trying to like do anything else. I feel like for the last four months I've been pushing my body so much and pushing it outside its comfort zone and which is all amazing but I think like I'm taking like you know two months to just like chill ride it out still do my workouts still eat relatively healthy like just a regular lifestyle really um and then you know revamp kick it up challenge myself again come the new year so I'm pretty excited to just relax you know not worry too much um, because it's it can become you know unhealthy if you let it become unhealthy but you know I, I obviously 
don't want to let it become like that. And I love my body the way it is. I work out six times a week and I, you know, eat relatively healthy. Like all, like last night I went to my girlfriend's and I had s'mores. Whereas before I probably wouldn't really do that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great. I think there's a huge fear instilled within me that like, I don't want to go back to like where I was before. And like, I don't want to look like what I did before, but the best way I can explain that is I don't really think it's the way I looked. I think it was my, my mental health and like my mind state of like where I was during that time. If that makes sense. Like I know for a fact, like my mental health has really come such a long way. Um, don't want to go back to where I was before, if that makes sense. So when I look at old pictures, I no longer, like, I don't, I don't see a help, like, I was happy, but I don't see a fulfilled, strong, healthy girl like I feel like I am now. And I think that's what I fear, is, like, I will lose that and I'll get back to there. And, like, it is a fear that I have, for sure. Um, I'm not afraid to admit that, but as long as I'm aware of that and I don't slip back into the same routine or I don't slip back into like doing negative things like negative coping mechanisms then I'll be good but I'm so glad to have friends family and a boyfriend who constantly push me every day to be the best version of myself and know that like just because you may slip up like one day like you know like eating habits or anything like that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to go back to the person that you were before in fact, it's impossible to go back to be the exact person you were before because we're growing and changing every single day. So taking that with me, and I'm not sure if anybody else can resonate with that, but in with my bronza, um, sometimes when I'm going out, I'll do like a cream bronzer, but on days like today, that's just basic. Like I'll just use my powder bronzer. I forgot to do prime my face. And I'm looking at my face and my makeup looks like trash. And I was like, something looks weird. Like something looks off. I forgot to prime my face. Guys, priming your face is so important. I genuinely feel like it is. Like I moisturized and used serums this morning and I put my sunscreen on. And now I guess I know how bomb it really is because, well, my face doesn't look the same. That's what happens when you talk on camera and you get carried away. And you're just like, yep, 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 yep. I honestly didn't feel like working out yesterday. And honestly, that's also okay. So if you ever feel unmotivated, just know that you're allowed to have those days. You're allowed to feel unmotivated and you're allowed to feel lethargic. That means your body needs a rest, so... I took that as my body needs 40 minute hit with Gabby Cheyenne. My girl, she rocks all of the hits. Like if I ever feel like I'm not sure what to do or like I just need a good pick me up, like, you know, I always watch her videos cause like she gets my, gets my heart rate up. Going in with my Huda Beauty because my face gets very oily throughout the day. So I literally have to bake. All the time doesn't matter what I'm doing I have to bake plus guys like don't don't forget I actually enjoy makeup like a lot like it's very therapeutic for me so whoever's watching this being like why is she doing like a full face of makeup like on a Tuesday morning it's therapeutic for me um, you know I'm not doing too hot when I actually don't wear makeup for a bit like makeup you know when I'm wearing makeup like it's a good day if that makes sense. Everyday palette, honestly, the Tartlet palette, um, as you can tell, it's like a lot of colors are missing, but I just like it cause it's like a soft brown, just gives my eye that like contoured look, like nothing too much. I wanna have a chill weekend. Last weekend was kind of busy. Um, so I just wanna like relax this weekend and kind of have like a self-care weekend and like do things like maybe I'll bake something or usually like if I'm going out or if I have like an event or if like date night or something I'll put on concealer but you know we're doing just the daily vibes 
So I am done doing my makeup. I just did something simple um, and I threw on this sweater because it's not that cold outside but it's a little breezy so just want to be warm. And yeah, I'm off to see my client um, and then I will probably be going to see crew later today and we're going to be teaching him how to drive. <laughs> He's getting his license, um, so maybe we'll get some of that on camera without him knowing. <laughs> so it is later in the afternoon. I just finished eating. I had just egg whites and a piece of multi-grain toast with peanut butter on it. Um, and now I'm going to clean my car because it's so nice outside and I've been meaning to clean my car for a minute. So, woo, gonna clean the car. So first off, um, I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but I end up always having like 30 water bottles in my car. So if you want, we can count together. Um, they're never finished, it's awful. But one, two, and one that's not even open. Another one that's not even open. Three. Well, like five now, but. And I think that's that's it for, for the water bottles. I need to wash my mask. And put some tunes on. Oh, here's another one, but this one's like the one I've been drinking today. Lots of water intake, as you can see. I am just done cleaning my car. It looks so good. She looks golden, pony boy. Good morning everybody and happy Wednesday. Um, as you guys can probably see, my lip bruising has gone down a little bit, but it's, it's still there. Um, I'm just going to be making a smoothie. Good morning! It is Thursday morning and it is chilly compared to the last few days that we've had. So it's kind of cold. Oh, you know when you first get in your car and you're like, oh. yeah, um, you're like to a gym. Um, it's kind of like a private gym, but I don't know, not really. I'm really excited because honestly, Good Life came out and they're like 10 people per and it's like, fuck all that bullshit. You know what I mean? So I'm just not gonna fuck with Good Life and I'm gonna try this gym and I'm so excited to get back in a gym. Left heavy. Just finished my workout, holy shit. I haven't lifted heavy in so long, but I feel so good. So good. I'm good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning and I am currently cooking an omelet. Did I get the bottom of my hair? Did I get the, I get the back of my hair? <laughs> Um, let's use. Not only did I almost burn my omelet, but yeah, as I was saying, I woke up feeling pretty dizzy this morning. Like I said, for those who have known me or followed me for quite some time, they know I have vertigo. This shit comes out of nowhere, so it's kind of difficult to predict. Um, obviously certain things bring it on, like stress and anxiety and certain other things, but... I feel a little bit better now. I do take medication for it um, when I need to. Um, I just, it feels so hopeless when you wake up feeling dizzy. Like, I don't know, especially like when you suffer with vertigo, you're like, is this ever gonna not be my life? I wonder. But anyways, uh, one thing that I don't like about vertigo is that it's like, how dare you take over my life? 
So whenever I feel vertigo, I'm like, I need to do all these things, whether I feel dizzy or not. And it's something like, it's like a mental battle because I'm like, ugh, it's just, I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, so I showered, put some makeup on, and I'm gonna attempt the gym. We will see how that goes. today we put up our christmas lights yesterday could have showed you those but i forgot but yeah i'm just gonna end the vlog here i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video